Hey, what's up? How you guys doing? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a mid fade and lining up the beard of my client. So stay tuned for the video. I'm gonna start by setting up my first guideline, which is the trimmer guideline. It's the first one I usually start the fade with. And this time we're gonna be doing it a little bit different. I'm, I'm gonna wait until the end to erase the the bottom part of the fit which is the shaver so I'm now gonna come up with my half guard, guard line which is the zero guideline open and then I'm gonna start setting in the first guideline then I'm gonna come with my trimmer my baby list FX and then I'm gonna start erasing or softening up the bottom of the first guideline then I'm gonna come with my Oster fast fit and I'm gonna start fading up up to the half guideline as you guys see what i'm doing i'm just flicking out and erasing the first guideline and then i'm gonna come with my number half but now it's the gar i'm just gonna make sure that everything is cut even and then i'm gonna come with my number one guard open setting up the second guideline so you guys can see a little bit smaller than the first guideline and then I'm going to close it and then I'm going to pass the clipper underneath the first, the second guideline. And then I'm going to come with my half guard open and then I'm going to start working my way up to the first guideline until, until, the, until the guideline is completely erased. And now I'm going to start working on the top of the shade which is the darkest part of the fade. I'm gonna start with my number four and then my number three. I'm gonna start fading down up to the one and a half. Now this is the number two, close as well. And then I'm just working my way down up to the one and a half. Just softening up the the bulk then I'm gonna use my number one and a half guard open and then I'm gonna close it like I said working my way down until I get to the one and a half once I get to the one and a half I'm gonna grab my number one guard open and then I'm gonna start detailing the little guide the little line that you see right under under the one and a half which is that one. I'm gonna start just detailing anything that I see that shouldn't be there, like any dark spot that is uh, not giving the right contrast to the fade. That's basically just what I'm focusing on. By this point, you guys have to have like a little, like, like a good eye in order to see what you guys are uh, focusing on like for me in my example I want to make sure that the fade looks as even as possible so anything that's too dark I try to make it a little bit lighter in order to match the contrast of the fade that's how I like uh, my fades to be I like them to be as even as possible so it gives it a good contrast when I finish the haircut on my client And now I'm just using my thinning shears to basically, uh, this is basically just like detailing anything dark, darker. Instead of doing it with the one guard open or closing it, I just do it with the thinning shears because I kind of I kind of got the hang of it. And then I'm just uh, gonna line up my client a little bit. I'm not trying to push him in. I'm just trying to make like a little square since he doesn't get a line up on the front. I just try to make like a little guideline of where I should go up to and then I just uh, line, him up, line, in, line him up on the sides. I'm gonna pass the blade and then I'm gonna run uh, some enhancements since my client likes to get enhancements I'm just gonna do it but for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna do it a little bit just so you guys can see how uh, I usually do it. Remember to always pass them uh, the enhancement matching the hair in the back so 
the fade uh, doesn't look too dark, too dark on some spots and then too light on other spots. Make sure that it's all even. Now I'm just gonna erase the bottom, but I'm gonna leave a, like a little line, and that's gonna be my guideline, my uh, limit of where I'm gonna run the shaver up to. And then when I run the shaver, I'm gonna erase that guideline with the trimmer. That way, I make it easier for me to have a smoother transition up to the up to the trimmer guideline. And as you guys can see, I'm just running the shaver, make, making sure uh, everything is is well cut. And then I'm just gonna run my trimmer, erasing the shaver, the the little uh, guideline. And then I'm gonna come with my shaver to erase any uh, spots that might have been gotten because of the trimmer. Just making sure the transition is as smooth as possible. Remember guys, this is all about detail. So whenever you're trying to do a haircut, you have to be able to see the details. So at that point, you know exactly the, the type of work you're doing. And now my client wants to uh, get a lineup on the beard. He, want, he wanted me to run the one, uh, one, the one guard close. And then I'm just going to fade up on the sideburns a little bit. And then I'm going to start by lining up the side and then the bottom. And as you guys can see, this is uh, pretty easy, pretty simple to line up the beard. And then I'm just going to come to the back and then just do some finish, uh, finishing touches, making sure that everything is even. Since uh, my, hair, my uh, client wanted a medium fade haircut, I have to make sure that everything is uh, connected on the back as well. Uh, I didn't record the, the other side because it was uh, my my camera died, but it's basically the same process. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. This is the end result of the video. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my content, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you guys want to see a certain haircut, please let me know in the comments below you so I can start working towards that. So I hope you guys like this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.